Um, a number of times when we're taking people home, someone will say, uh, if it wasn't for you, I would have driven home drunk, or even you saved my life or my friend's life. One night, we gave a ride to a homeless woman. She was on the verge of having a seizure. Later, we found out that she was without food. The next day, our church took up an offering, and we delivered her a box of groceries. There have been times where girls have passed out in the car, and we made sure they got home safe. Also, women have at times asked us for rides because they were in a situation where they felt unsafe. One night a, a lady came stumbling out of her apartment tripping on some drugs and uh, could only say hospital as she stumbled into our arms. We took her to, directly to the ER, called her, uh, called her daughter up, let her know what was going on, and uh, stayed with her and prayed with her until uh, we were sure she was being well taken care of. It, uh, it amazes me how kind and you know, appreciative everyone is in the service. Um, the first night we actually did this, or I did this with Kayla, it was like freezing outside. I mean, we were shivering the whole night. And people would walk by, high-five us, bought us coffee, pizza, um, kept giving us dollar bills no matter how many times told it was free. I think we gave 42 people a ride home that night, and they were all really excited about it. Most people didn't even know it was free to to drop them off, and they were overjoyed, you know, at the, the, just the prospect of, you know, not having to pay for a ride, you know, because a lot of people aren't used to kindness like that. It's really interesting and fun to offer rides to, to people and students who are coming out of bars when they know that we represent a church. We pick up a lot of people and they, they tend to ask a lot of questions while we're in the car driving them back to campus or wherever they're going. We're having really deep, meaningful conversations most of the time. By the end of the ride, we, we're, we have a new friend. We have uh, maybe even a group of friends who are in the back seat, new people that, that we have relationships with. And it's awesome because it, it's, it's people, even uh, with different beliefs, coming together. Guy at the Oriana movie theater that a uh, girl shoved into our car, and the only thing he could say is, I need to find my car. And next thing you know, he's passed out in the back. He must have been really intoxicated. So. Well, had the paramedics come and take him to the hospital. And I believe that was the guy who was 19 years old. Two or three hours later, we went back to the hospital and picked him up. And drove him back to his dorms. When you do this long enough, you begin to feel a deep connection with Oneonta's nightlife. So much so that you feel extra broken up when something tragic happens. Thinking to yourself, if I just would have been there to offer a ride, then maybe it could have been prevented. On a September night when we weren't giving rides, a 21-year-old SUNY Oneana sophomore was left in critical condition after an altercation on Main Street. The student was in a coma for more than a week and had to have reconstructive surgery done to his skull. Even though the young man was a stranger to me, doing the free ride service made me feel connected to him and what had happened. So, two months later, our church held a benefit event where $800 was raised for his family to help with medical expenses. Miraculously, the injured student recovered. And for the rest of that school year, we offered free rides once every weekend and didn't hear of any more tragedies like this happening. Go ahead and go first, Laura. Okay, I'll, I'll go first. You go first. <laughs> so can you tell me what it's like to have both of your husbands stay out so late doing the free ride service? Yeah, it's different when you get in your car the next morning and you have to take free ride signs off of it. And there's the car seat missing and you got to put the car seat back in for your child. But every time my husband gets home at 3 or 4 a.m., he's really excited. I'm glad that he went out and did it. He has lots of great stories of people that they were able to help. Yeah, definitely. And 
Um, it can be pretty lonely on a Friday night when my husband's out super late, but I know that it's for an awesome cause, so it's definitely worth it. And plus, me and Laura get to have a girls' night when both Kayla and Dom go out, so it's great. And almost every night, there was at least one person who said, this is the nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me.